हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आवर कमिंग वीडियो इज ऑन ऑटोमोटिव सिटिंग सिस्टम डिजाइन एंड सिटिंग सिस्टम रेगुलेशंस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज सिटिंग सिस्टम एलिमेंट्स ऑफ सिटिंग सिस्टम आल्सो गोइंग टू सी व्हिच फिजिकल टेस्ट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड ऑन सीट्स व्हाट इज एच पॉइंट एंड इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस हाउ टू कैलकुलेट एच पॉइंट व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ आईलिप्स इन व्हीकल डिजाइन how to confirm seat comfort during seat selection why oscar machine is required as a design point of view we are going to see sitting plastic part design and its related guideline so that you can understand what are the basic part thickness sheet metal to plastic its highest thickness if any metal is moving to the plastic its thickness what will be the a surface draft draft of ribs which type of ribs we are preferred dog house and clip tower its arrangement and the degree of draft required for that for seating systems when any fixing plastic part to fixed foam what thickness should be required so all the design guidelines we are going to see also we are going to see the complete seating system design of a seat what inputs are required to making the seat like car environment seat structure a surface of foam edge point detail trim lines seat movement details what type of scope will be required during working on sitting system and what are the challenges we are facing during working on the sitting system design and many more things we are going to cover in this video so friends just sit back relax and watch this video till the end if you are watching my video first time and you like my video then please like and subscribe my channel to get the notification of my upcoming videos so friends let's start with setting system friends before going to explain about setting system we need to understand the function and importance of setting system because all we have accepted the importance of comfortable and safe settings that's why the top automotive companies have started spending a large chunk of money in the research and development of seats during launching their new products so friends now we are going to see the seat functions main seat functions are first it supports to the occupants second seats always plays an important role while positioning the occupants in the vehicle it also provide comfort to the occupant for the protect the occupant during accidents new seat design offering excellent support adjustment and features such as air suspension heating sensor detection 360 degree rotation remote control climate control keeps the operator comfortable in his seat reducing fatigue and more productive these are the main functions of seats now we are going to see seating system seat system is a single seat having all the components like bolts nuts washers seat belts like 2 inch or 3 inch etc all these parts are included with the seat and as a shipped to the customer which seat system it is ready for installation at customer end you can see in the image on the screen includes the seat marked as a a b and c seat system as a plus b plus c or you can say a or b or c this is about the seating system now we are going to see which key elements can decide the occupant's position in the vehicle there are three key elements to occupant position first point is that head arm and leg room that means space leg space you can say that second point is the field of vision he can able to see the outside of the car or obstacles third is the driver proximity to hand control that means he can reach the primary and secondary control from that seat that means the controls primary and secondary controls are in the reachable position from that occupant so there are three key elements to occupant position when any seating system design during that these two factors are very much considered during the designing of seat in seating system we are considering 
the driver seat then co passenger seat that means these two seats are in the front seats and behind is the rear seat you can see the image of the front seat on the screen this is the trimmed front seat and front seat structure we are going to see the details about the front seat structure and its element also you can see the trimmed rear seat and rear seat structure now we are going to see one by one seating system elements now we are going to see the complete seat system seat system is made up of seat cushion which is providing support to the occupant's thighs seat back which is providing support to the back of the occupant head restraint you can see in the image wing or you can say the bolster also provided to the insert of the seat back the main function of wing is it is providing support to the occupant on the movement of the sharp corners on the road also you can see the bolster it is also providing support to the thighs during long run occupants not feel wing and bolster these areas are having more tough or you can say the high strength as compared to the foam or seat cushion and seat back cushion because these are the cushions are providing for the comfort point of view wings and bolster it provides support so strength is required and it is maintained by the seat manufacturer during manufacturing of the foam having some specific density they have to maintain globally now you can see the seat back which is highlighted in the color the main function of seat back is to provide support to the occupant's back it will often recline may have adjustable lumbar supports or wings fully trimmed seat back is referred to as back trim now we are going to see the seat cushion seat cushion also provide support to the occupants on the thigh portion and ischium ischium is lowest of the three major bones in the pelvic the pelvic is primary weight bearing structure of a body fully trimmed seat cushion is referred to as a cushion trim you can see the image on the screen now you can see the bolster on the image located on the outside of the seat cushion it helps prevent the occupant lower body from moving side to side two bolster of seat cushion inboard and outboard these are the two terms we are using globally now i will explain what is inboard and outboard now we are going to see what is inboard and outboard you can see the image of the car on the screen if we are going to draw a center line inboard refer to the items lying towards the center line i am highlighting those parts are the inboard which are very much closer to the center line outboard refers to the items lying away from the center line we should have to note that outboard items are not actually outside the vehicle but it is just outside from the center line so according to that globally we are using this term during the discussion of the bill of material from supplier or purchaser we are using these terms inboard and outboard left hand side inboard right hand side inboard or left hand side outboard or right hand side outboard these terms we are using globally during identification of the parts now we are going to see the types of seats majorly four basic types of seats oem decide the types of seats according to the vehicle style seat system functions and targeted the market segment according to these three basic criteria oem has to decide the type of seat front seat are adjustable and the rear seat to be supported by the vehicle body which is attached to the floor the types of seat contain the 
फर्स्ट टाइप इज बकेट सीट इट होल्ड्स अ सिंगल पैसेंजर इट इज फ्री स्टैंडिंग एंड माउंटेड टू द व्हीकल बॉडी इट इज रोटेटिंग एट एन एंगल ऑफ 360 डिग्री द एंगल ऑफ दैट बकेट सीट इज डिपेंड अपॉन द बकेट सीट कैन बी स्वेल फ्रॉम 90 डिग्री टू 360 डिग्री सेकेंड टाइप इज द फोल्डिंग बैक सीट इन फोल्डिंग बैक सीट फुल और स्प्लिट पेंच विथ फोल्डिंग बैक इट इज अ रियर सीट थर्ड टाइप इज द स्प्लिट बेंच टाइप यू कैन सी इन द इमेज इट अलाउज इंडिपेंडेंट एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ द सीट फॉरवर्ड बैकवर्ड एंड रिक्लाइन कैन बी डन सेपरेटली एंड द फोर्थ टाइप इज द फुल और स्प्लिट बैक फुल बेंच जस्ट अ सिंगल क्वेश्चन विथ अ सिंगल और स्प्लिट बैक फुल बेंच हैज अ सिंगल क्वेश्चन एंड बैक इट इज अटैच स्प्लिट बैक हैज अ सिंगल क्वेश्चन एंड टू बैक्स द मेन पर्पज ऑफ दैट अलाउज एक्सेस टू द स्टोरेज एरियाज और फॉर पैसेंजर एंट्रंस एंड एक्सिट वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ द लोकेटिंग पॉइंट आर डिसाइडेड ऑफ सीट इन द व्हीकल मेनी लोकेटिंग पॉइंट आर यूज टू डिफाइन आकुपंट लोकेशन इन अ व्हीकल लाइक आई लिप्स सिटिंग रेफरेंस पॉइंट एच पॉइंट डी पॉइंट एक्सलेटर हिल पॉइंट हैंड रिच इन वेलोप नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी द हिल पॉइंट हिल पॉइंट विथ द शू ऑन अनडिप्रेस्ड एक्सलेटर द फूट एंगल इज एटी सेवन डिग्रीज मिनिमम यू कैन सी इन द इमेज ऑन द स्क्रीन द आकुपंट्स आर सिटिंग देयर एंड द एक्सलेटर हिल पॉइंट पोजिशन इज हाईलाइटेड द फूट एंगल इज हैविंग एटी सेवन डिग्रीज दैट एंगल इज रिक्वायर्ड मिनिमम एटी सेवन डिग्रीज अल्टरिंग हिल पॉइंट अफेक्ट्स कम्फर्ट एंड सेफ ऑपरेशन ऑफ फूड कंट्रोल इन द इमेज यू कैन सी दैट इज वन ऑफ द स्केलेटन वेन एनी ओ एम फाइंडिंग द हिल पॉइंट सो दिस स्केलेटन दे आर यूजिंग एंड दे आर यूजिंग द मनिकन हैविंग फाइव परसेंटाइल फिफ्टी परसेंटाइल एंड नाइंटी फाइव परसेंटाइल नाउ वी शुड हैव टू नोट डाउन वन थिंग इट इज अ परसेंटाइल नॉट अ परसेंटेज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द फाइव परसेंटाइल फिफ्टी परसेंटाइल एंड नाइंटी फाइव परसेंटाइल वेन आई एम सेइंग फाइव परसेंटाइल सो द मीनिंग इज दैट फाइव परसेंटेज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड पॉपुलेशन बाय यूजिंग दिस ऑस्कर मशीन वी आर फाइंडिंग आउट द एच पॉइंट एक्चुअली एच पॉइंट इज इन द एयर पॉइंट बिकॉज it is the human point so the h point is in the air when occupants sitting on the seat at that time the h point is little bit just above from the seat so we can consider it is in the air we have to know why h point is very much important because it defines the driver's relationship to the other control in the vehicle because after sitting occupant on the seat it can be control it can reach all the primary and secondary controls incorrect h point may mean safety problems after sitting on the seat the occupants can able to touch the pedal accelerator clutch or accelerator and from the seat he can be able to touch the primary and secondary controls of the 